Hey YouTube, Mike the Renai Guy here. How we doing? All right, today I'm behind the camera because today we're doing the test on the Yugo battery backup for the Renai Tankless Heater. My Tankless Heater is an RL 75 EP, and huh, of course the sun's got to be on my side today. Um, it's been connected now for over seven days, and we did have one power outage. I was working, my daughter was here at the office, we found out, you know, I found out the power was out. We actually, I told her to turn on the faucet in the kitchen and she got hot water. So it worked. I mean, I wasn't here to see it, but it worked perfectly, she said. So here's the unit. I have it mounted on a custom stand that I built. If you want to see the built of the stand, go on to my other channel, Mike's Woodshop. It's secured to the chair with the brackets and it is plugged in so let's zoom in here i'm trying to okay the gray wire is plugged into the battery backup that's coming from the tankless heater right there right there and the black wire is the power that's powering and charging the battery backup now when you get it, you're gonna get that square plate is gonna be over that with the four stainless steel screws. The wire is gonna be wound in there. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna unwind it, plug it in, leave it off, and it, you'll charge. Now, if you wanna see the video on the unboxing, just go back one or two videos. You'll see the unboxing video, but this is actually the test video. We're gonna simulate power outage. We're gonna watch the controller. Stay on at 120. We're gonna turn on a faucet and watch we're gonna get hot water so the green this green right here is where the water flow sensor will plug in this is the water flow sensor right here that will get put into the cold water side of the tankless and what that will do is it will sense water flow and it will activate the Yugo that will be in the dormant uh, stay we be dormant until water flow right now once I shut the power off you go will be powering the tankless just like it was an outlet so you'll actually get almost 13 hours of shower time with the water flow sensor and around eight or so hours um, with without the water flow sensor I just was not piping it in but I will be installing one of these in a large project I'm doing here in Florida and we will be doing the water flow sensor with that one. Okay, so if you're not using the water flow sensor, you have to unplug the temp flow sensor. So you have to unplug it in order for it to work. So let's lock up the front again, show you how easy it is with the lock. Very nice lock, lock it up. Okay, let's uh, pan back out. And let's go in and simulate power outage <clears throat> now this is in real time we're not editing this video we're not shutting the camera off this will be in real time so we're back we're in the workshop let's get in here I'll show you the controller here's my MC 91 it's right now got power 120 volts our green priority light is on my son, not yet Michael, my son is there ready to turn the faucet on. So let's simulate power outage. I have a separate breaker that goes directly to the tankless. You can see here it says T, it's a 20 amp breaker. I'm shutting the breaker off. Let's go back to the tankless uh, controller. We're still at 120. Okay, turn the water on, Michael. We have we have water flowing, as you can see, it's to the left. As we all know, hot's on the left, cold's on the right. And we have an in-use light. There we go. Okay, shut the water off, Michael.
One more time, turn it on. Turn it off. Thank you, Michael. There we go. Let's go back outside. And I'll show you one more. Actually, let's get this stand so you can see. Again, we're not editing this thing. You're going to see this in real time. Okay, relief valve. Fired. Can you hear it? That's on the Yugo. And that's at max flow with the relief valve pop. Off. And if you heard the beep, that was the battery backup. So here is the water flow sensor that will sense water. It's directional. The only thing is it has hose threads on it. So you need a hose thread by IPS adapter for both sides. Then you have a cord which you can lengthen. And then this green plug with two screws that screw into the bottom green port and that would then give you um, it will, the, the battery backup will stay dormant until someone turns on the shower and or a sink and it will give you uh, power to the tankless which would then power up the uh, um, the, the unit alright and as you can hear it's like, it's like a clapper in there that claps to go back and forth um, to sense the water flow because if you can see in there you see you could see the clapper in there and again there's a direction okay um, um, all, all, all pricing everything will be in uh, the description below and uh, I hope you uh, Everything seems, uh, yeah, everything is on. I'm just, I'll put everything back together once it's uh, on, but let's try it once more. Fire. You can probably hear the tankless. I don't want to flood out the place when I got to put this thing back together. All right. Well, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, I think it's a great add-on for your customers or for your house to um, uh, power up the tankless when, uh, when you have a power outage. And the beauty about this is it's pure sine waves, so it will not mess up the PC board in the unit. Okay? All right, YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this video, and, uh, and I hope you enjoy your endless hot water with the Renai. I'll see you on the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.